Well, you couldn't have asked for a better day to begin a new tradition. The first St. Joseph County 4-H Fair Parade kicked off in South Bend this morning. The event attracted more than 90 groups and hundreds of spectators. New Center 16's Christine Carson was at the parade all morning and introduces us to a couple who has made a hobby out of float building. If you ever need some advice on how to build a float, Meet Mike and Linda Kazmierski. Oh, we just enjoy parades. It's it's become our hobby. A hobby that's drove them to more than 45 parades, 10 so far this year. One of them being right here in downtown South Bend for the first St. Joseph County 4-H Fair Parade. Put them on there. And if this float doesn't grab your attention itself, maybe the name will. Grandma and Grandpa build a float. But one of the first floats we built, they uh, our grandchildren both said, Grandma and Grandpa build a float, and then. It stuck. <laughs> and that's exactly what this firecracker couple continues to do, build and build. We always honor the troops in some way and, and the USA. They're the biggest heroes on the planet. I mean, you just can't honor them enough. Right. It's just impossible. I've had three brothers that were in Vietnam, and so they were really honored when we did Veterans Day, and we had their pictures up on the float, and they were so honored. But all this hard work doesn't go unnoticed. In fact, the attraction to all of these thoughtful details may be the most rewarding part. Children's faces when they see the float. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's the biggest thing. That's and our then trophy. The trophy, too, is when they, the veterans stand up and salute. Veterans stand up and salute. Yeah, that's, that's, I am, it brings tears to my eyes. And as long as these wheels keep rolling, so will they. Are you ever going to stop? Hope not. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> not that I know of. Christine Karsten, New Center 16. If you missed this year's parade, don't worry, they plan on bringing it back next year. Organizers say they want to continue to get the community involved. Each year, the